How to care for puppies. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Puppies, who can resist? But is a puppy the right pet for you? Puppies are expensive, demanding pets that need companionship, regular exercise, and proper training. Getting a puppy is a big commitment, and this film only covers the basics of caring for your pet. Each breed has different needs, so take advice from a vet or breeder before buying one. You should get your puppy from a reputable breeder or a rescue center. Remember, your puppy will quickly grow into a dog. If all of this fits your lifestyle, go out and get your new canine friend. Step 1. Bringing your puppy home. A few days before collecting your puppy, take a blanket to the rescue center or breeder so it's used to sleeping on it by the time it goes home. On the first few nights, play with your puppy before you go to bed to help it sleep. Put newspaper on the floor, as it probably won't be house trained. Step 2. Housing and bedding. Your puppy will need a food and water bowl and bedding which is warm, dry, and comfortable. Put the bed in a draft-free corner of the kitchen, as it should be warm and have a washable floor. It will also need a well-fenced yard where it can exercise and play, and plenty of chewy toys to play with. Step 3. Handling. Pick up your puppy by gently scooping it up, keeping one hand under the chest. Stroke it every day, running your hands over its body, legs, and head so that it will be comfortable when examined by a vet. Step 4. Diet. Puppies need to be fed small portions and often with specially formulated puppy food. Puppies aged 6 to 8 weeks should be fed 4 times a day. At 12 to 20 weeks, they should be fed 3 times a day, and from 20 weeks onwards, twice a day. The quantity will depend on the breed and age. Feed your puppy the smallest quantity recommended for its age and size, and only increase this if it starts to look thin. It will also need fresh, clean water every day. Don't give your puppy milk, as it may cause diarrhea. To stop a puppy chewing your shoes, give it rawhide chews, nylon bones, or large hard biscuits. Step 5. Exercise and play. Puppies shouldn't be left on their own for more than three hours a day, as they will become lonely and destructive, and the time they are left alone should be built up gradually. They shouldn't be left alone with a strange dog or child. Puppies' bones and joints are still soft and developing, so avoid hard exercises and games that make them twist and turn. Don't force your puppy to play when it is trying to sleep, and keep children away from the bed area. Puppies should mix with other friendly animals in controlled circumstances after they have been fully vaccinated. Take your puppy out in the yard frequently, particularly right after meals and as soon as it wakes up. You can start taking it for walks a week after the second course of vaccinations. Step 6. Cleaning. It is important to clean up after your puppy when you take it for a walk. Use gloves or a pooper scooper as dog feces can contain a worm which causes health problems in humans. To stop your puppy from using the house as a toilet, give it plenty of praise when it uses the yard. And take it back to the same area each time. Bedding should be aired every day and washed or replaced every week. Step 7. Grooming. Puppies should be brushed every day with a soft brush to keep their coats in good condition. Different breeds will need different amounts of washing and grooming, so ask a vet or groomer about how often and what sort of brush you should use. Give your puppy a chew or toy so that it enjoys the experience and is distracted. Remember to brush the tummy and between the hind legs. Grooming is a good way to bond with your puppy while you can check its skin and coat for health problems. Step 8. Health. A healthy puppy has bright eyes and a shiny coat with no signs of discharge around the eyes, mouth, or nostrils. It should be able to walk without limping and have clean teeth and gums. Keep its teeth clean with chews, strong toys, or canine toothpaste and brushes available from your vet. The skin should be clean with no lumps, bumps, or inflammation. Your puppy should have a clean, glossy coat and no signs of diarrhea around its tail. Puppies need vaccinations, which can be expensive but are vital to your pet's well-being. They need regular treatments for fleas and worms. In most U.S. cities and towns, it is a legal requirement for a puppy to wear a collar and tag, which should be fitted at about five weeks and regularly loosened as it grows. Vets also recommend microchipping to help identify your pet if it ever gets lost. Done. Have fun with your puppy!